welcome back to Gamecasters. Today we're going to be talking about the perception stat in Fallout 4. Now the first video I did was a bit long and it was a bit vague on uh, some of the stuff I was talking about, but today I'm going to jump right into it and give you a little bit more better detail on everything. So we're talking about perception. Perception is your environmental awareness, a sort of uh, sixth sense. It affects your weapon accuracy in VATS and I believe it affects your accuracy out of VATS as well. Um, it's not really too explanatory on that aspect. Um, if you employ this in combat, the higher your perception, the greater your chance of hitting a, a target. Um, the higher perception also reveals detected threats, uh, which appear on your compass, which is at the bottom left of your uh, HUD on when you're playing. And the higher your perception, the further you'll be able to spot enemies on there. Um, having a maximum of 10 will give you, obviously, the best amount of accuracy you can get. The first perk in perception, which is gained with a perception of 1, is called Pickpocket, which is a pretty simple perk that you'll want to use if you're playing on being a stealthy or, and or thief character. Um, rank 1 gives you a 25% easier, uh, it's easier to pick pockets 25% better. Um, level, there's four ranks to the perk. Rank 2 requires level 6, rank 3 requires level 17, and rank 4 requires level 30. All of which require only a 1 in perception. Rank 2 gives you a 50% bonus to pickpocketing, and you can also place a live grenade in a person's inventory. I believe you can also do that with uh, landmines or any kind of explosive, for that matter. Uh, rank 3 gives you a 75% increase to pickpocketing, and you can steal equipped weapons. Yes, yeah, so you can actually take a person's weapon that they have equipped. And Rank 4 gives you a... Uh, makes it twice as easy to pick pockets, and you can now steal any equipped item. You can steal the armor right off of a person's back, and they won't even notice. Um, moving on, we're going to level 2 perception, which is 2 points. It's called Rifleman. There are 5 ranks to this perk. Rank 2 requiring level 9, rank 3 requiring level 18, rank 4 requiring level 31, and rank 5 requiring level 46. Now all five ranks require a perception of two, there is no increase. Um, rank one makes it where automatic weapons do 20% more damage. Rank two makes it where it's a 40% increase to damage and you can ignore 15% of a target's armor. Rank three increases it a further to further 20% to a 60% total and you would now ignore 20% of a target's armor. Rank 4 makes it where it's an 80% more damage and 25% of the target's armor, and you also have a slight chance of crippling a limb. It, um, I mean, overall, you basically still already have a chance to cripple a limb, but this increases that chance. Um, rank 5 gives you twice as much damage with automatic weapons. You ignore 30% of a target's armor, and you also have a slightly higher chance of crippling a limb. So, overall, you're going to be easily crippling a target's um, limbs, you know, head, chest, arms, legs. Uh, moving on to level 3 perception, which is 3 points into the perception stat. It's called awareness. Uh, there's only one rank to this. There's no level requirement. Uh, to defeat your enemies, know their weaknesses. It allows you to view a target's perspective specific damage resistance in VATS. So if we say a uh, target has a energy resistance on a certain part of their body or for example a rad scorpion or something has higher defense against melee or uh, against energy weapons or plasma it'll tell you what kind of weapon would do more damage against that enemy. Um, the related elementals to this is it will show you your enemy's level um, it will show a shield which uh, will tell you if it's a resistance to ballistic explosive or impact related damage uh, if it shows a lightning bolt your enemy's resistance is to energy weapons 
radiation, your enemy's resistance to weapons that inflict radiation damage, and poison drop is obviously poison. Moving on to level 4 perception. This is 4 points in the perception skill or uh, stat and is called lockpick or uh, locksmith. Pretty much the same thing. But um, there's 4 ranks to this perk. Rank 1 is just 4 points in perception. Rank 2 requiring level 7. Rank 3 requiring level 18. And rank 4 requiring level 41. So this is a perk you're going to want to have like no matter what kind of character you're using. Lock picking is a major part of Fallout 4, um, any Fallout for that matter. <clears throat> it will make it so you can get loot out of containers and so on and so forth. You can pick any kind of lock at any level, but this makes it where you can pick um, higher tier locks. Like you start out with a novice um, skill and then. Rank two, uh, rank one gives you the ability to pick advanced locks. Rank two gives it where you can ma uh, pick expert locks. Rank three, master locks, and then rank four doesn't increase it, but it makes it where your bobby pins never break during lock picking. So you don't have to carry around 120 plus or however many lock or how many bobby pins you're picking up throughout your playthrough. You will only ever need one because they will never break. Moving on to level five perception is called Demolition Expert. You need five points in Perception. There's four ranks to this perk. Rank two requiring level 10, rank three requiring 22, and rank four requiring level 34. This makes it where your explosives do 25% more damage and you can craft explosives at any chemistry station. Rank two makes it where your explosives now do 50% more damage and grenades gain a throwing arc, which makes it where you can throw explosives even further. Uh, rank 3 makes it where you gain a 75% more damage bonus to your explosives and it makes the explosion radius even larger, which is your AoE, area of effect. Um, rank 4 makes it where your explosives do double damage. Mines and grenades shot in vats explode for double damage as well. Um, the AoE also affects that, so it will increase the explosion radius, so be careful how far you shoot your explosives. Um, moving on to level 6 perception, which requires 6 points in the perception stat. This is called Night Person. There are 2 ranks to this perk, rank 2 requiring a level 25. Uh, rank 1 gives you a 2 plus 2 to intelligence and perception between the hours of 6 p.m. and 6 a.m. Uh, rank 2 makes it where you now have a plus 3 to intelligence perception between the hours of 6 and 6 a 6 p.m. and 6 a.m. And you also gain night vision while you're sneaking. Moving on to level 7 perception, which requires 7 points in the perception stat. It's called Refractor. There's 5 tiers to this perk. Rank 1 requiring just 7 points in perception. Rank 2 being level 11. Rank 3 being level 21, rank 4 being level 35, and rank 5 level 42. Uh, this perk gives you a plus 10 to energy resistance, increasing by 10 per tier up to a maximum of 50 energy resistance at rank 5. Moving on to level 8, perception is sniper. You have to have 8 points in perception for this. So this is a uh, more late game perk if you don't focus a lot of points into a single stat. Um, there are three ranks to this perk, rank 2 requiring level 13 and rank 3 requiring level 26. And this perk gives you an improved control, you have improved control and can control or uh, you can hold your breath longer while aiming in scopes. It also reduces wobble. Uh, rank 2 makes it where non-automatic non scoped rifles have a chance of knocking down your target. Rank 3 gives it where non-automatic scoped rifles gain a plus 25% accuracy to headshots and vats. So if you're a sniper, that's definitely a perk you want to get. Uh, it would also be great for a sneak character too because you'll be able to take out your targets from a long distance without you know, taking return fire while you're doing so. Uh, level 9 perception is Penetrator, requiring a perception of 9. There's two ranks to this perk, rank 2 requiring level 28, 
In VATS, you can target an enemy's body parts that are blocked by cover, with a decrease in accuracy, however. Rank 2 makes it where in VATS you can target an enemy's body part that is blocked by cover, and there is no decrease in accuracy. This makes it where if, you know, your enemy's behind a wall or slight light cover, you can actually shoot through it. So, for instance, like, uh, if you ever play Call of Duty or Battlefield, um, that same um, idea works with this perk. Rank or level 10 perception is concentrated fire. This is a max perception perk. You have to have maximum perception to use it. There are three ranks to this perk rank 2 requiring level 26, and rank 3 requiring level 50. Uh, the perk gives you in VATS every attack on the same body part gains a 10% uh, bonus to accuracy, and VATS every attack on the same body part gains a plus 15% in accuracy. That's rank 2. And rank 3 makes it where in VATS every attack on the same body part gains plus 20% accuracy and does 20% more damage. So, um, if you're focusing fire on a single body part, you gain a 20% more damage bonus on the, the uh, every consecutive shot after the first one. But anyways, that's all for the perception ranks, uh, perks. And in the next video, we'll be talking about endurance. I'll see you guys in the next video. Thanks for joining me today. This is General Sticky Locks out. If you like this video, don't forget to check out more of our videos and subscribe to our channel. The rest of our links are in the description. Thanks for watching.